Hello, welcome, welcome to this video. Uh, I would like to share with you a very exciting project, uh, a, a tube stereo uh, integrated amplifier, uh, which of course will include the tube power amplifier and the tube preamplifier. Uh, this is currently being designed and built by, by myself. Uh, this will include also three different uh, signal sources uh, modules. Uh, the first module will be an uh, FM tuner, a high quality FM tuner, uh, which again also this one is currently being designed by, by myself. Uh, the second module will be the uh, Bluetooth receiver. Uh, the third module will be the digital to analog converter. Uh, uh, the Bluetooth receiver will uh, use uh, the digital to analog uh, converter, of course. Uh, all these, uh, uh, all the logic uh, will be handled by uh, Arduino microcontroller. So uh, all the uh, user uh, interaction uh, will be handled by Arduino. Uh, I will also implement uh, two uh, LED displays. Uh, which will be used to show uh, to the user all interesting information like for example the tuning frequency uh, or the selected source uh, and so on. Uh, so at the end it will be a whole stereo system uh, included in a compact, uh, as much compact as possible uh, chassis. So let's now give a look at the first module which is the FM tuner. Before speaking in detail about the FM tuner module, you can see it here, we will speak later in a moment, I would just like to provide you with a quick view of how the integrated tube receiver will look like. Here you can see the two output transformers, the power transformer, which are already installed, and here you can see the sockets, the tube sockets, uh, for the uh, power amplifier. You can see it here. You can see here the left channel power amplifier, right channel power amplifier, and here you can see the preamplifier tube sockets. The, of course, big octal uh, sockets are for the power tubes. Uh, these sockets uh, are for the phase splitter, which will be based on ECC81 tubes, uh, and these other sockets are for the uh, power amplifier first gain stages, which I think, uh, I say I think because the, the design still needs to be finalized uh, and, and defined in, in detail, but I think I will implement uh, EF86 tubes. The preamplifier tubes, which will be installed here, as you can see the sockets will be shielded, the preamplifier tubes will be ECC83. As you can see, uh, much work still need to be to be uh, to be finalized. But anyway, you you, you can have a, a, a good idea, I think, about how how the final product will look like. Uh, again, uh, all the uh, modules will need to be uh, to be defined in detail and and uh, and built, uh, starting from the FM tuner. We will speak about that in a moment and uh, the, the, other, the other modules, uh, for example the digital to analog converter module, <coughs> the Bluetooth receiver module, and the Arduino logic module, as well as uh, all the modules which will provide the different voltages to the different amplifier sections. So here we are, Mm, this is the first module uh, for the FM tuner. This is not the whole FM tuner. I would say this is 30-40% uh, of, the, of the tuner. This is the front-end uh, and the IF, Intermediate Frequency Filter Amplifier, as you can see here. Uh, this is my design. This is a little bit temporary layout for the moment, but mm, anyway, I think it can give a good idea of how things are working. The signal picked up through the antenna, the antenna will be connected here, is first filtered 
by uh, this coil you see here, we have also a varicap diode in parallel. Varicap diodes are sort of capacitors which can change capacity based on the applied voltage. So after the first filtering, uh, the signal is then fed into the first uh, uh, amplifier which is based on uh, a dual gate MOSFET. Uh, here I have deployed a 3N201 MOSFET. You cannot see he here because uh, I have also implemented a, a, a little bit of shielding. Uh, but yeah, we have a, a, a dual gate MOSFET here. Uh, then uh, the signal is fed into the second filtering stage, which you can see here. This is the uh, second uh, uh, filter coil. Uh, and again, uh, we have a varicap diode in parallel of this coil. After uh, the signal is uh, amplified and filtered, uh, this is fed into the input of the um, SO42P integrated circuit. You can see uh, here. The job of this integrated circuit is to convert the frequency of the incoming signal into a much lower frequency, 10.7 MHz, which is the intermediate frequency uh, for the FM broadcast. Uh, we are still speaking of uh, uh, radio uh, signal, we are not speaking of audio for the moment, so here at the output of my front end, at the output of my integrated circuit, uh, I still have a radio frequency signal, but the frequency is much lower, exactly 10.7 MHz. In order to achieve this goal, so in order to have at my output uh, a much lower frequency, this integrated circuit generates uh, a second signal. You can see the coil here. This is the so-called local oscillator coil. So the integrated circuit has a, an oscillator uh, inside, uh, this oscillator generates a 10.7 MHz higher signal than the received frequency, that my received uh, station. So by mixing uh, the received signal and the local oscillator signal, this integrated circuit can generate uh, at the output here uh, another signal which uh, and the frequency is uh, uh, the difference between the two signals. As I said before, this difference is exactly 10.7 MHz. Then my intermediate frequency, 10.7 MHz signal, is fed into uh, a first uh, uh, amplifier, which is based on a uh, field effect transistor you can see here. Uh, then the signal is uh, filtered the first time, amplified second time, filtered second time, and amplified third time. Uh, in this uh, LA1222 uh, integrated circuit by Sanyo, I have, in fact, I have two gain stages, two amplifiers. So at the end, my IF, uh, RF, uh, IF uh, um, gain and uh, filter stage, I have uh, three uh, gain stages and, and two uh, filter stages. Mm, here I can pick up uh, my radio frequency signal, 10.7 MHz again, and uh, feed it into the uh, next module, which will be the audio demodulator. And uh, sure, I will speak about that in the, in the next uh, video. I would like to spend some words uh, on those two very tiny components. They are very tiny, but they are very important for sake of uh, the tuner performance. Those are two ceramic filters. Uh, they are responsible for the tuner selectivity and the tuner audio quality. Selectivity and audio quality uh, cannot very easily be accommodated together because uh, the more I implement narrow filters here, uh, the higher selectivity I have, selectivity is the capacity of the tuner to correctly select uh, the wanted station, the desired station. So I was saying the more I implement narrow filters here, the higher the selectivity. On the contrary, I get uh, uh, poor audio quality. 
On the contrary, if here I implement very wide bandwidth filters, the audio quality is very good, but the capacity of the tuner to correctly select the wanted station among the two closest, uh, the, the, the two stations which have closest frequency is poorer. So every time I need to find the best trade-off between those two uh, specifications. In this case I have implemented here a 230 kHz wide filter here in this position and a little bit narrower filter here 180 kHz. Both are I would say special ceramic filters are GDT uh, flat group uh, delay uh, uh, they have a very high linearity in the passband so they are among the best and can uh, provide the best audio quality for a given passband uh, of course I will need to uh, experiment a li little bit I have many so mm, I think this setup can give a good compromise good trade-off between the uh, optimum audio quality which at the end is one what I want to uh, achieve and uh, good uh, selectivity. Again, uh, 230 here and uh, 180 uh, here. I think we have uh, well understood how this module is working. Just one quick note about how I can select uh, the desired FM station I want to listen to among all those which are available from uh, 87.5 MHz to 108 MHz. This is done by applying a, uh, by changing the polarization voltage applied to uh, each one of those three varicap diodes. And this can be done for example with a multi-turn uh, potentiometer. Changing the voltage applied to these three uh, varicap diode uh, means uh, changing their capacity which at the end means uh, that for example this local oscillator changes its frequency. As you remember the local oscillator generates a frequency which is uh, 10.7 MHz higher than the received frequency. So as soon as I change the uh, frequency coming out from the local oscillator, for example changing uh, the rotation of my tuning potentiometer, uh, I will need also that those two filters uh, could be uh, tuned at a frequency which is exactly 10.7 MHz lower than the local oscillator frequency. So at the end I will need these three stages to be correctly aligned together. One of the features I would like to implement uh, on my newly designed FM tuner is the frequency counter. I would like to, uh, I plan to uh, show the received frequency on one of, the, of these two displays and I plan to utilize Arduino for that, Arduino microcontroller. As you will see in the next videos, uh, Arduino microcontroller will be utilized also for many other tasks, but in particular uh, I plan to utilize also for sake of uh, frequency counting. Uh, I plan to, uh, in order to, to have uh, a proper signal to be, uh, to be measured, I plan to start from the uh, local oscillator signal. As you know, the local oscillator generates uh, a, a signal which uh, the frequency of the signal is 10.7 MHz higher than the received uh, signal. So, uh, starting from this uh, uh, local oscillator signal captured here, uh, I have deployed a frequency divider. You can see it here, this is a prescaler which divides the local oscillator frequency by 256. So here at the output of the frequency divider I have uh, a signal uh, and the frequency is uh, uh, in, the in the range more or less between 300 kilohertz and uh, 500 kilohertz. I, I can be more, more precise <laughs> later. Then the signal, this divided signal is then amplified a little bit in order for it to be uh, compliant with the 
uh, with the logic level uh, accepted by Arduino on, on the uh, digital pins. So here, at the output of uh, this uh, prescaler and uh, amplifier, I have uh, a signal which is fed to Arduino in order for Arduino to, uh, to measure the frequency. Then, in order to correctly show uh, on one of these uh, displays the uh, exact uh, received frequency, Arduino will need to do some little bit of math starting from the frequency of the signal uh, picked up here. Uh, of course, as you, as you can imagine, uh, this, uh, the frequency of this signal is not the received frequency. So, uh, Arduino will need to, first of all, multiply the measured frequency by 256 in order to take this division into account and then as you remember you remember the local oscillator signal was uh, 10.7 MHz higher so in order for Arduino to correctly show the exact received frequency Arduino will need to subtract 10, exactly 10.7 MHz from, uh, from the, the number coming from this frequency multi uh, multiplied by 256 in this way I plan to show the final frequency, which uh, uh, again uh, should be a number uh, between 87.5 MHz and 108 MHz, which is exactly the FM band. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see you soon. Uh, I will keep you updated about the progress of this uh, very exciting project. Thank you again. Uh, see you soon. Bye.